Do you know that attaching files to emails can be much faster than you usually do? If not, I'm ready to show you how to do that. Attaching files from URLs is as easy as pie. I start editing my template and click this button. It's the message attachments button. Then I click the plus sign next to URL. Now I copy a link to this PDF file and paste it into the dialog window. After that, I click Add. The link is added and now I click Close. The blue dot on the button shows me that the attachment has been added. Now I'll save the template. Click the Insert button and the email with the attached file will be ready for sending. You can attach a file from OneDrive with just a few clicks. I select the Message Attachments button, then I click the plus sign next to OneDrive. I find the file I want to attach, double-click it, and then click Close. The blue dot here says that the file attachment is added. I save the template. Now I click Insert. As you can see, the attached file is in place. If you want to attach not a single file but all the files from a folder in OneDrive, there is no need to waste time adding them one by one. You can do it in one go. I select the Insert Macro button and double-click Attach all files from OneDrive folder. Choose the folder I need and click Select. A field with the name of the folder appears in my template. I click Save. From now on, every time when I insert the template, all files from the selected folder will be automatically attached to an email. That's it! If, when inserting a template, you'd like to choose which file from your local storage to attach to an email, you can use the What to Attach macro. I click this button. It's the Insert Macro button. Then I double-click What to Attach. In the dialog window, I type a phrase which will tell me to select some file. I won't clear this checkbox, Required because I want my email to always have an attachment. Then I click OK. The phrase I typed in the previous step is in my template. Let me save the changes. When I insert the template, the add-in reminds me to add the necessary file. I find it. Done! The file is attached to the email. If you want to select multiple files, there is a way for it too. First, I click the macro placeholder to open the What to Attach dialog. Then I click the checkbox next to Allow Multiple Files. I click OK and save my template. I'm good to go! When inserting this template into an email, I can attach more than one file. It's as simple as that! Thank you for being with us and watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates!